Global Media and Updates. Press Global. Press Menu. Global is where you can access things that affect the instrument as a whole, like master tuning, master EQ, etc. Let's look at a few examples. There are global parameters that affect the different modes. Select Mode Preferences. In the Styles chapter, we saw how the bass and lower sound play when the style is stopped. This is where that function, bass and lower backing, can be turned on or off. Any changes to global are automatically saved into memory. In the Sounds chapter, we saw how selecting a Performance Category button auto-selects a particular performance in that category. Menu, General Controls, then the Interface tab. This auto-select feature is turned on and off here. You can see it's available when selecting style categories as well if you wish. If you want to save your current performance or style category selections so they won't be lost after turning the instrument off and on, you would touch this Save button. By the way, you can turn Display Hold off now if you want by touching here. In some cases, you may need to calibrate your damper pedal. If so, touch Menu, Controllers, then touch the Foot Controller tab. Touch Calibration. Press and hold down the pedal, and touch here. Now release the pedal, and touch here. Menu, Audio and EQ. If you want to connect to an external speaker system, you use the headphone output. You choose whether the output is being used for headphones or line out here. You can adjust the overall EQ of the Havion 30 on this Master EQ tab to add more low frequencies, high frequencies, etc. Press Media. Here you can access the internal memory to save and load your own data. It's also possible to connect to a computer using the USB device port on the back, allowing you to access the Havion 30 internal memory. For example, to drag and drop MP3 files between your computer and the Havion 30. Media also gives you access to whatever is connected to the USB host port on the back, for example, USB pen drives, hard drives, etc. As you can see, Media allows a variety of options to load, save, copy, and more. Let's save all our Havion 30 data to the USB drive to see how the process is done. Go to the Save tab, touch All, and touch Save To. Choose the USB drive. Touch New Set. Touch the T and name your file, for example, My Backup. Touch OK to confirm the text, and OK again. Here we can select what data we want to save. That's why it's called a set. It's a collection of different types of data. Leave the selection as it is and touch OK, then Yes to confirm. To load a file, go to the Load tab. Select the USB drive. Touch the data you want to load. I'm going to choose my backup.set. You can touch Open and select individual data to load. For this example, we'll load everything, so touch Close, reselect My Backup.set, touch Load, then Yes. Remember that there are several resources available from Korg.com, like more video tutorials, software, sounds, and many more styles. Even though a style may have been created for a different Korg Arranger keyboard, when you load them in, they will automatically be converted to work in your Havion 30. By the way, for some reason you may want to go back to the original factory preload. This is possible, but be careful, because this will erase all of your user styles, sounds, songbook entries, etc., and load in the factory data. So you may want to back up your own data to external media first, like we did earlier in this chapter. To reload the factory data still in media, go to the Utility tab. Select Factory Restore, and then touch Execute. You can restore all the factory data or uncheck all, and then choose the specific things you want to restore. I don't want to do this right now, so I'll press cancel or exit to stop the process.
It's a good idea to check Korg.com occasionally for operating system updates to your Havion 30. Korg looks for ways to improve your instrument, including the addition of features requested by Havion 30 owners. The operating system version of your Havion 30 is displayed in the lower left of this utility page. If you need to update your operating system, or OS as it's called, download the OS file from Korg.com. It will be named something like this. The V100 refers to the OS version number. Unzip the archive, then copy the .pkg file to a USB device like a flash drive. To be safe, be sure to back up any of your own data that's on the internal drive before installing a new OS. Usually there's no problem, but it's best to make a backup in case something does happen. Turn off the Havion 30, then insert the USB device containing the PKG file. Now hold down Intro 1 and turn on the Havion 30. Keep holding Intro 1 until System Update appears on the screen. Release the Intro 1 button, then, when prompted, do the touchscreen calibration. The prompt asks you to select the PKG file to install. Touch OK. Select the USB drive. Then touch the PKG file if it isn't already selected. Press Select. The Havion 30 verifies the PKG file. Then this screen appears. Touch Update and the update process begins. Do not remove the USB media or turn off the Havion 30 during the update process. It will reset on its own. Wait until you see this message. Then turn the Havion 30 off. then on, and the update is complete. Okay, that's it. We hope you found this video helpful, and remember that for more information, the PDF manuals cover every detail of this amazing instrument. Everyone at Korg wants to thank you for purchasing your Havion 30. You have so much musical enjoyment ahead of you. You made the right choice.